So this is a follow-up video of that Mazda CX-5 with oil pressure problem where I, in the first part, I have removed the crank or the conrod bearings and inspected them visually. And if you remember, the oil pump looked disgusting, covered in oil sludge slash jelly. And now I have removed the valve cover and the intake manifold. So let's have a closer look at it. To be honest, this is what I expected based on what I've seen on the bottom of the engine. Look at the, those bubble balls around the cylinder head balls and all that jelly. It's, it's very thick, uh, quite a lot. The washers, the injector washers weren't blowing out, hence the strainer was not blocked. But all these jelly sludge blocked the strainer also, from this you can conduct that oil changes hasn't been done in time or on time or frequently at all. Neither the oil filter has been replaced. So guys, if you consider doing the oil changes at 15,000 miles, I would advise highly forget about it because you will mess up your engine. Now have a look at the carbon buildup. It is there, it, it needs a cleaning as you can see. So that will be done, that will be get cleaned. A camshaft is worn, but very likely you can't even see from the sludge. Um, so on the next step, I'm going to remove all that dirt alongside with the camshafts and the rest of the parts, get it cleaned change the vacuum pump the exhaust pressure sensor and unblock that pipe the metal pipe underneath it and show you the result of the cleaning and then after that show you the result of the carbon cleaning and lastly but not least show you the new bearings how to do them and then take the car for test drive and make sure everything is working properly and hand it back to the owner. And this is how it looks like after we cleaned it. And now the camshafts can go back in, which are still waiting to get cleaned. In the meanwhile, the exhaust pressure sensor can be replaced and the pipe cleaned. So that's what Dan's going to do. And after he's finished with that, he's going to fit back the exhaust and the intake camshafts alongside with the tappets and the rocker arms and I'm going to show you that, how it looks like, how shiny it is once they are fitted back. And finally, we can go and get done the bearings and fit the oil pump and the oil sump back onto the engine block. And after that, the valve cover can go on so we can start getting the carbon cleaning done. And this is how it looks when the things are put back in place and cleaned. Have a look, that is a brand new camshaft and this is the one we clean. We use the ultrasonic bath to get it clean. So now that is done, I'm going to fit back the valve cover. Still need to fit back the oil shower and then the valve cover. Don't forget that. It happened to me already, then I had to remove the valve cover again. Um, use silicone sealant here, where the timing cover means the cylinder head. So basically here, again in the corner, on the other corner and the opposite side of this over there and then you are good to go you can fit back the injectors the fuel lines also a good tip before like tightening the injectors make sure you just hand tie them the bolts and then fit back again hand tighten the fuel lines to the injectors then you can tighten the injectors to the correct torque specs because we've seen that few times or actually many times that whoever worked on the car before us they done it the opposite way so they tightened the injector first and even though it's just slightly out of position they had to force the fuel line on it and they bent it and then when the owner came to us with the car we sometimes had to replace the fuel lines because either the thread was damaged or it was bent so the carbon cleaning results, you can see here, 
then done amazing job and let's have a look at the valve so now he's going to finally assemble the parts back together and fit them back and fill the car or the engine up with oil and start it take it for a test drive and see if there are any fault codes i believe the boost pressure fault code will be gone because of the vacuum pump but if it will be still there i'll get back to you or get get that shown on the camera as well but i've got a strong feeling that it will solve that issue the p2263 fault code